everyone. Today we're going to be showing you a live house tour of a waterfront property right here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This is what the front looks like. They actually have a very beautiful um, driveway and as you can see the entire home is nice and white including the sconces and they do, did install the metal roof kind of like a lighter shade so it has more of a cohesive um, theme from outside and inside. So let's go ahead inside. Now what's really nice is they did install almost floor to ceiling glass windows and doors. And you do have hurricane impact um, windows and doors. Something beautiful. Unfortunately, you, um, you can't feel, but you can see are these um, four by four big slabs right when you walk in. The texture is more of a leather feel. So it's very soft. They are porcelain, but it's really nice if you were to be walking around barefoot. So of course, just standing right here at the front, you can already see the beautiful views of the water. You're overlooking the pool. You do have a little over 100 feet on the water. Um, so you can have a really big yacht. There are no fixed bridges there. Um, so you can actually Get to the intercoastal waterway we are just about a few doors down from the intercoastal maybe about six houses away so it's a prime prime location now this house is currently listed for just under six million dollars so if you are thinking about buying this house make sure to give us a call directly now of course you can also see the high ceilings and the modern ac vents as well as the recessed lighting so let's go ahead and start off here with the kitchen. It's a very sleek European style um, home. So I'm just gonna put the camera here to kind of show you around. Um, can you see the, no, you can't, there we go. I see you, Christina. <laughs> All right, so you do have your wine fridge right here, keeping everything nice and cool. You have your amazing appliances, uh, double. I'm assuming one is a refrigerator and one is a freezer. Let's go ahead and see here, unless it's just a double fridge. Oh, actually, forgive me, that was the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And then this is just additional pantry space, but notice how they actually kept the um, same layout with the handles. And then they have a sleek, like, um, what color would you call this? Almost like a sage. Like a sage um, cabinet. It is a dual accent colors. So on the bottom, if you'll notice, it's more like a gray brown tone down below. Same on the other side over here, but they kept the same sage color up here. Um, they have this amazing backsplash with this kind of like 3D pop out tile. It's also outside in the exterior and they do have this amazing large kitchen island with these massive industrial four um, pendants mm -hmm. over the actual island. Um, let me go ahead and show you a little bit closer on the kitchen side. You wanna tell us about the oven there? I think, what was it, Blue Star? Yeah, so uh, we have Blue Star oven here as gas, six burners, which is great. And then you have this wonderful uh, vent right here, which is also a uh, Blue Star. And we have this wonderful oven here. Very Perfect. large. Yes. And the matching dishwasher, yes. if I remember clearly. Uh, this is a Mio. Oh, Mealy. Mealy. Mealy, yeah. And then they have the microwave. Actually, I kind of like that they have the microwave down below because sometimes I do too. And then you can't see it, and then you, you know, can keep the sleek look of the kitchen. Yeah, without taking away from it. Plenty, tons of storage. Uh, we have these wonderful drawers here, which are also really convenient. Instead of just having one big cabinet underneath, where everything is kind of stacked on top mm -hmm. of each other. Now this um, entire house is. It does have a split floor plan. So over there are two bedrooms that share a bathroom. And then this way is the primary bedroom, which is really mm -hmm. nice primary. They designed, the owners actually um, drew the plans and designed this house 
um, for themselves. So right here, the bed, you are overlooking the intracoastal and just kind of the back. You do have all the blind, the shades are electronic with uh, this remote. So just kind of show you. And notice how the window treatments, including the actual hurricane impact windows and the walls and the fan above, everything is white, including the floor. And then they have this really nice space where you can hang out overlooking the pool, which will go out later because it is starting to rain today. It always rains here, so it is what it is. Which, speaking of, it would be so nice to just be laying in this bed here with the rain coming down and mm -hmm. just so relaxing. Oh, yeah, very relaxing. And then this way is your walk-in closet. And, of course, you can see how high the uh, shelving is for all your storage needs. It looks like there's also some um, maybe attic space or additional oh, yeah, storage how you get up there. To the mm -hmm. attic. And then this is the bathroom. How amazing is this? Here, I'm gonna. I can hold it. Prop it. Up. Yeah, can you? Mm -hmm. There you go. So this is your actual shower. Um, it's frosted, and it's actually very large. There is an, a, a bench in there, and then you have your waterfall, um, large shower, as well as the manual hose there if you wanted to switch it out. And it looks like it's the same porcelain tile as the flooring, so they kept it very nice and cohesive. And then you have your double sinks. This is the same matching, or at least it appears to be, <laughs> same matching material as in the kitchen. And then they have the same flooring, um, or I should say the same tile that's a, the floor right here on this entire wall, rather than just kind of doing paint or wallpaper. It really creates so a beautiful texture too. And you know what? Now that I realize it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's a, that is true luxury, I have to admit. And I'm sorry, but this bathtub <laughs> is gorgeous. It's so big and then it looks like it spills over here and you could easily lean there. It's so sleek and so clean, very pretty. They did an amazing job. I wonder if, well, look at that. I haven't seen um, medicine cabinets like this. I wonder if there's a mirror. Yep, there's a lot of, oh look, they even have light inside. So while you're getting ready. Oh yeah, that's great. That's super smart. Very uh, European style. And I love how the baseboards as well are, you know, oversized. Oh, the modern baseboard. Oh yeah, yes. they are oversized. I guess to match these tall mm -hmm. ceilings. And then I also love Obviously, the ceilings are tall, but I love how they made the doors so tall. Yeah, look at that. And this is a everything is very like exaggerated, bathroom. but with taste. Mm -hmm. And then that is the what do they call it's it? Just the, the toilet. Uh, just the toilet. Yeah. yeah, floating there. So everything is nice and neat and organized. And then you have your recess. And actually, look, there's a speaker up there. I bet that's probably for music. Yeah. And now that I think about it, it's over here in the <laughs> living room area too. So maybe you could like really play some jazz or calming or peaceful. Yeah, it's definitely sounds. set up for entertaining. Yeah. Um, so that is the primary. Now, of course, you can see they have the dining room area right here in the middle with these beautiful pendants draping down. And then you have this really large living room with this very large flat screen TV and everything's just sleek and clean in this area. Now, on this side of the house, they do have the additional two bedrooms and one bathroom that they do share. What you are seeing right here in front with these glass walls is the actual second bedroom or one of the other two bedrooms. So if you wanted to change it, you can actually um, change it to, you know, be the traditional enclosed wall. Or if maybe you wanted to just tint it um, like black, you can, but for the purpose of them enjoying their home, they do have it set up this way, kind of like a study with all this um, wine. I believe they are perhaps in the wine business or something. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have these tall Florida glass windows as well. 
Do you want to show us the bathroom? Sure, come in. And I do have to say, with it being such a gloomy, rainy day and everything being so white in here, it just feels so warm and welcoming. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like the sterile, you know, with a white, um, white everything, you would think that it would feel very sterile and uncomfortable, but it right. really feels warm and inviting. It does feel warm in here. It does feel inviting. Most mm -hmm. homes don't feel like that, but maybe it's because of all the brown and accents mm -hmm. and the colors and the wood is what makes yeah. it warm. It's very nice. Yeah, so oh my then, gosh, look at the hand soap bottle. Oh, I love it. Uh, down to the detail. <laughs> yeah. That is so awesome. Yes, and then the same as in the primary bedroom, you have this wonderful um, medicine cabinet with the lighting, which I love. Perfect for putting your makeup on, this yes. type of lighting. Yeah. And then same as in the kitchen and the other bedroom, we have this um, same style vanity here, which is great. I love those colors. Mm -hmm. And we have... Um, a nice walk-in shower. Um, it's, I guess you call that inset or recess. It's a little bit lower. Oh yeah, it goes to, down. Like, step down. Yeah, and look at how high this is. Yeah. And you know what's neat is that this is actually the corner of the house and they still had these windows installed and then just frosted them. Which is great. So nice having that light coming in in the bathroom. Yeah, it's like a beautiful soft powder light that pours in. And so that compared that harsh mm -hmm. um, sunlight that comes in. And then this is the third bedroom. And so genius that they put a window in the corner there. Because they could have easily just continued the mm -hmm. wall. I wonder if they did this on this. No, yeah. Because they could have done this but they actually had a um, window there. And then here is the bed set up, overlooking your recessed lighting. Um, you have your modern AC vents there and everything is pretty much cohesive throughout this entire house, which is beautiful. Um, let's see. So we walked around actually. Oh, we have We're half at the front. Bathroom here. Yeah, so this actually has two and a half baths. Mm -hmm. So this is the half bathroom. So if you're entertaining, you don't want guests going into the bedrooms, this would be that half bathroom. And they have the same big, beautiful tile going along this um, wall. And then they have this nice little wallpaper and then the floating toilet and what's really cool is they have these buttons <laughs> on the wall isn't that neat did yes. you see that toilet yes <laughs> um and then just storage more storage i love how that's like a soft closed closet door oh yeah i think it will be soft closing mm -hmm. are they all let me see No, this one's not. I wonder if it's just kind of that one because yeah, usually it has like the rubbers on the edge, but these are really thick. Yeah, and you get, it's very quality. You can Good feel the quality. quality. Again, some more storage here in the bottom and then also up top. I guess you would need a ladder, a ladder. <laughs> but yeah. it's nice to have that. It's good so. storage. And then they have a little, I just realized they have these um, for coats hanging your... Oh, that's... So ingenious. It's like your little foyer and you walk mm -hmm. into. So we pretty much walked around this whole area. Um, what else? Oh, let's focus on outside. It stopped raining, thank goodness. So this is pretty cool. These um, hurricane glass doors actually open up like accordion. So if you wanted to entertain and just kind of be more indoor, outdoor, you can do that. Then you're like, going in yes yeah, especially when it gets cool here for the fun. couple months that we have cool weather <laughs> yeah well let's preserve the ac yes. for now so we're going to close it up but just wanted to demonstrate for everyone um and does the other oh this other one does it too i believe wow pretty impressive this one does it also Wow. Oh, so yes. And it looks really, like it does go all the way to the very Yeah, to the end. So really, this can be completely open. Wow, that's a dream. Can you imagine if all homes were like that? <laughs> it's beautiful. All right. So let's take you to the outside. So here is the outdoor area with the little fireplace there in the wall. You have the same... 3D tile there, backsplash as you do in the kitchen. This is your dining area outside, and this is kind of your lounge area. 
And then it looks like those are some sun chairs. They're just kind of brought in due to the rain and the weather. And then you have your big green egg barbecue area there. Um, and then now if you'll notice the tile changes here. Um, so you do have your big slabs out here, but then once you get closer to the pool area, it has this amazing um, pavers that has seashells in them that have been polished, which is really pretty. And then you even have your recessed lighting out here with the speakers. Um, and you even have recessed lighting up above there. And let me put the camera down here. Oh, look, there's an iguana right there. <laughs> I don't know if anyone can see. Let's see if you can position. Okay, perfect. So this pool, gosh, it's really long. Long. It's really a bit more of like a lap pool. They do have the uh, thing, the machine that's kind of cleaning, vacuuming. Um, but this is really great area for entertaining. Um, you know what? Let me show you some of the details I see actually. So they do have these holes here for drainage, which is great when it rains. Super smart. If you'll notice that. And then the pool itself, it does look like it gets deep on this end. It is a heated pool and a salt pool. And that they have like steps right there and a little sun shelf. And then they have this little fire pit area here. And then a couple steps down to the actual dock area. And this is the outdoor landscaping. You have your lift. You can kind of see the type of size boats you can possibly get. And down there, if you see those buildings, that's actually where the uh, intercoastal waterway is. And this is the view. Um, should we show them the garage? In oh, case yeah. someone has multiple vehicles, it currently is a two car garage, but you can actually install a lift so you can have four vehicles. So let's go ahead and take you there. Okay, so we're actually here in the kitchen. We're gonna walk through this door. This leads you to the laundry room area. So you have all the storage space, you have a sink here, and then you have your Millie a plant, a washer and a dryer. And then through here, you have access to the garage. You can see that the flooring itself is sealed. It has that epoxy coating. Um, but if, as I previously mentioned, you do have high ceilings. So if you really wanted to install a vehicle lift, you could have space for four vehicles, especially if it's like, I see a lot of luxury vehicles. Mm -hmm. You definitely don't want them outside. So you have lots of space for that and then you have your outdoor area or excuse me your door to the outside 